How much is the new heist going to pay out? Will the new island be in free mode? How much is the submarine HQ going to cost? And am I excited for the new Cairo Perico heist? All these answers and much more. Jackknife Finnegan coming at you once again with another GTA 5 online video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an update, upload, or a live stream. If you did not get a notification for this, check me out on my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, all at Jackknife Finnegan. Much appreciated. They will be linked in the comments below. But let's start off by reading Tez's tweet, you guys. So we find out that this is a solo heist. So you can do it solo or you can do it up to three people. So that is awesome. That allows flexibility and possibly more of a payout for solo players. So that is good by itself. Then it says new vehicles, new tactical weapons, new social spaces with new world class guest DJs and new radio stations with over 100 new songs. And a very large, very versatile, and very heavily armed submarine HQ. So reading those right off the bat, you know we're going to get new vehicles, we're going to get new weapons, and social sp uh, spaces, and we're getting a big submarine. So let's go back to those questions that we talked about. How much is the new heist going to pay out? Honestly, I think the new heist is going to pay out around the same price as the casino one. Uh, honestly, I think it's going to be right around that range, or it could possibly be more to fix Rockstar's economic system in Grand Theft Auto V. Fingers crossed on that. Now, guys, I want you to know that these are all assumptions, all predictions. These are my thoughts into what I think the Kyle Perico DLC is going to be how I think it's going to go down, and like I said, our assumptions and predictions. Will the new island be in free mode? I think the new island will be in free mode, and let me tell you why. So when you read a very large, very versatile, and very heavily armed submarine HQ, well, that right there kind of says that the submarine is going to be exactly like the yacht. It's a HQ, it's a headquarters. So a headquarters, a base, normally doesn't move. Now let me explain this. I think the submarine is gonna play the part of like, just like the yacht. And I know that might bum you out, but hear me out, because it's all gonna make sense. So you buy the submarine, I'm gonna say the submarine's gonna cost anywhere between seven to 10 million. That's if you buy all the bells and whistles, seven to 10 million, possibly 12 million, if you buy a large one and uh, Put stuff inside it and whatever you got to do but that's the price I think that's gonna cost so you're gonna buy this submarine and you're gonna want to go do the heist so you go to the submarine you set up the heist and the submarine will act as the loading screen to bring you to Cayo Perico now let's say you don't have the money to buy the submarine well then you go to Los Santos uh, Airport and Los Santos Airport will act as the loading screen to bring you to Cayo Perico so even if you don't have the money for the submarine, it doesn't matter because the airport will bring you there as well. And those will act as the loading screens to bring you to the brand new island, Cayo uh, Perico, which is awesome. So I don't mind a little give and take, you know what I'm saying? Because honestly, if we all bought submarines, we'd all be in the ocean, we'd all be hitting each other. It'd be a giant mess with all the submarines in the water. So by them being stationary, it only makes sense because there's only so much water in the game. You know what I'm saying? If you got a lobby full of what, you know, 20 people and we all got submarines in the water, it's going to be a mess. So I think the submarine is going to be a stationary object, which does suck. But keep in mind, what would you rather have? A submarine that moves underwater, which is limited, and an island that is not free mode? Or do you want a submarine that's based and stationary and have an entire island that is free mode? And you also got to think, why would they put the island in a loading screen? Well, if they put the island in the game where we could travel to it via, you know, the actual game, well, then how are you going to get the cars over there? You're going to have to cargo bob all your cars over to the island or get to the island and then, you know, call them out via, you know, your garage or the mechanic. 
I just think those are going to act as loading screens to carry us to the island itself. Now, how much, let's see, and am I excited for the new Cayo Perico heist? I'm absolutely excited. I cannot wait. I think the possibilities are going to be amazing. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a great time. And when you read right here, it says, um, new social spaces. So honestly, guys, I think what's going to happen when we get to the island, I think you might be able to buy a nightclub because you got to realize this island's going to come equipped with everything that we have on the normal game. You can have a hangar because there's going to be an airport. It says new social spaces, meaning nightclub. There might be a nightclub that you can buy there. It also has cocaine fields, marijuana fields. It has all the potential to set up an MC business out that way as well. So you can have business opportunities out there. You can have a nightclub out there, a hangar out there. Now, I don't know if the facility will reach out there. I don't know how the, the orbital cannon is going to work out there. I don't know. We're going to have to find that out. And another thing I think is cool is I think we're going to get garages out there. I think we're going to get houses out there. I think we're going to have a full-fledged game on Cayo Perico, to be honest with you. I don't think... Rockstar is going to drop the ball and be like, all right, we got this brand new island, which is massive, and we're only going to make it for just the heist? I mean, that would be a waste of an island and a waste of a game and probably one of the most embarrassing DLCs to come out. And you got to remember, Rockstar said this is the biggest update ever. So if they're going big, they're going big or they're going home. So if this island is not free mode, they're going home. The Cayo Perico will be coming out on December 15th of 2020. I will be live streaming it. I will be making videos of it and covering it. So make sure you guys are hitting that bell so you don't miss it. Now let's read from GTA Online. The Cayo Perico heist is the biggest GTA Online adventure ever introducing an all new exotic heist location with a brand new approach to heist design that features the ability to play everything solo or with up to three other players plus you can acquire new vehicles and tactical weapons experience new social places so pretty much the exact same stuff that we read from tez's but if you read this and break it down it says the biggest online adventure ever well, it says right there, adventure. If they don't allow that island free mode, there is no adventure. So I think it's going to be free mode. The submarine's going to be a loading screen. The airport's going to be a loading screen to bring us to where we got to go, to Cayo Perico. Also, you know, and then when you do the heist, you're going to get tactical weapons. Um, you're going to get a bunch of other surprises. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of Easter eggs leading to Grand Theft Auto 6. I can't wait. I'm super excited. I really want to know what you guys think in the comments. Like I said, guys, I'd rather go at this being bummed out and depressed and very not excited about it than go at it super excited about it. Because you know what happens when you set yourself up for, you know, excitement and this could be the greatest ever. You play it and it's the worst. So honestly, guys, the way I would look at this a DLC is I'm gonna, I would look at it as if the submarine ain't going to move, the island isn't going to be in free mode. Just look at it in every negative aspect you can so when the DLC drops, it is amazing for you. That's what I would do. But my take is it's not going to be in free mode. I think, you know, like I said, they're going to be loading screens and be good to go. Otherwise, you're going to have to cargo bob stuff over, so on and so forth. I actually think that the entire DLC is going to cost $20 million to buy just the basic, but $40 to $80 million to buy all the bells and whistles, all the stuff that comes out. $40 to $80 million should definitely buy everything that you need on this DLC. $20 million basic. If you guys got any comments or any suggestions or anything that you think might, you know, might be different than what I said or if you agree with me, let me know in the comments. I really want to know 
what your take is on the Kyle Perico heist. I really want to know. And I also answer all comments. So drop a comment and I'll answer back. But I really want to know. If you guys like this video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream. With that being said, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!